From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Mike Kruger. You're watching, of course, the morning update here on Weather NorCal. You may notice things are a little bit different out there. That's because I am recording from Central Texas. I had to be here for family obligations here over the weekend, but I should be, things should be back to normal by tomorrow. I will be back in my studio by Tuesday, but in the meantime, for today, things are going to be just a little bit different. Uh, one of the things I do want to remind you is that you can send in those images. I know, of course, we had the Persid meteor shower. Uh, some of you are actually able to see the northern lights last night as well, so I'd love to see some of those images as well. All right, let's start off with Kruger's quick cast as we kind of get you out the door very quickly in the morning here, and just so you know what to expect here very quickly throughout the day. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s for the valley. Notice the chance there for Trinity County. That's, of course, for the afternoon, and that'll also be the case for Modoc County and not to mention into uh, parts of Siskiyou County as well. In fact, there's a look at future cast. You can see Siskiyou County in particular and Modoc County will see the best chances for thunderstorms possibly this afternoon and into the evening. But as I mentioned, I have included a chance for some of that making its way into parts of northern Trinity County. And of course, that should be gone by tonight uh, not to mention for your Tuesday. The smoke forecast, of course, as you know, you've got the uh, fire, which is the Boise fire, and not to mention the park fire. Those will be the two predominant smoke producers here, and that's where most of the smoke will be, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a ton of smoke. Temperatures today, yeah, much cooler than it has been, hasn't it? Temperatures mainly around 90, give or take, for uh, the valley. There's that chance for thunderstorms. And I think most of the thunderstorms will be in central eastern Siskiyou County and Modoc County this afternoon. But again, there's that slight chance we could see some of those in western Siskiyou County and not to mention northern Trinity County. So for example, Trinity Center, yeah, maybe a chance for thunderstorms. Weaverville Hay Fork, I think your chances will be a bit slimmer as you start heading to the south. Let's go ahead and take a look at that seven-day outlook and the temperatures are staying below normal for the rest of the week, not to mention through the weekend. That's going to be the case here for the valley. Now for the coast, yeah, no big changes there. Still looking at the mainly cloudy skies in the morning. Some of us may see a little bit of clearing in the afternoon, but for the most part, that fog is fairly persistent. Temperatures much cooler for the inland areas and not to mention in Trinity County as well. There's a chance for isolated thunderstorms for your Monday uh, for El Turris and Mount Shasta, Susanville, Eastern Mountains, most likely not seeing much in the way of those thunderstorms. We're going to talk about the potential for more thunderstorms in the deeper dive forecast here in just a second uh, as we get in later in the week, but it uh, looks like the best chances at this point look to be today. The cooler weather has arrived, a chance of isolated mountain thunderstorms with keeping highs below normal into the weekend, the possibility of some stronger winds though going into the weekend. And that's something we don't really want to talk a whole lot about when it comes to especially the fires. But speaking of the fires, the park fire as of three o'clock this morning, 38% containment at just under uh, 430,000 acres. Here's a closer look uh, and you can see that really for the most part, the firefighters have done a very good job in keeping it south of Highway 36 and 89, not to mention out of the communities of Mineral, Mill Creek and Child's Meadows. There have been several firing operations over the last several days, and that has really been a big help. Meanwhile, we take you out to the Hill Fire at 98% containment. We are getting closer and closer to this thing kind of getting uh, contained here. And of course, the Boise Fire is still at 0% containment here. Uh, right As of right now, the northwest side of the fire is about 3.5 miles from Orleans. By the way, of course, uh, the fire in, near Redding, uh, of course, that last check was, um, that's a double check that, but uh, overall conditions are getting a lot better here uh, for the fire, the lower fire, as a matter of fact, in West Reading. Let's take a look at that smoke forecast, and you can see here that we're really main uh, smoke producer is going to be the Boise fire, not to mention, of course, the park fire, but it doesn't look like we're going to see nearly as much smoke 
as we've seen here over the last week. So that certainly is gonna be a nice relief, but there are going to be some areas that will certainly experience some of the worst air quality. The winds, unfortunately, are gonna be picking up this afternoon, especially for the valley and in the eastern mountains. This will elevate the fire danger, uh, but uh, overall, I expect that those winds should begin to die down as we take you into your Tuesday. Take a look at that relative humidity, and it looks like the humidity levels are going to be a little bit higher than we've seen here over the last week, and that is certainly gonna be a big help when it comes to those fires. A little bit lower for your Tuesday, that's mainly because we are seeing the risk for thunderstorms moving on out. But there you can see the fire weather risk today. Most of it will be in the north end of the valley and in the eastern mountains. But look at what happens when we go into Tuesday. We're really not seeing even much in the way of moderate fire danger out there. So again, conditions are certainly a lot better due to those cooler temperatures. And as a result, the higher humidity as well. Now, if you notice, we've got some clouds, a little bit of a spin to our north and northwest. That could be what is going to help to spark up a few thunderstorms here. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center is putting a chance for some thunderstorms, especially in the areas in green. So that does include extreme northern Trinity County. And we take a look at future casts, and there they are, popping up later this afternoon. And then as we go into tomorrow, I don't expect much in the way of showers or thunderstorms, just a few clouds kind of rolling on through into your Tuesday. Long range, as of right now, I'm not putting any more thunderstorms here as the rest of the week. However, the area of low pressure that's gonna kind of sit and spin off toward north and west depends on the positioning of that and where it exactly goes, which will determine whether or not we see any more thunderstorms later in the week. But bottom line, that is what's gonna really help to cool us off a bit. Notice the area of low pressure way to the north into Canada. By the middle of the week, it will start to shift to the south. And as a result, we are gonna see a drop in our temperatures. So temperatures staying below normal. But one of the things I'm concerned about is the squeeze play we'll have between the area of low pressure and high pressure. And that could bring us some gusty winds possibly by the end of the week and maybe even to the first half of the weekend. If that area of low pressure could push back up to the north, that may allow our temperatures to increase a little bit here, but uh, I do expect those winds to most likely die down as a result. So temperatures kind of going up and down a little mini roller coaster ride, if you will, as we take a look at that. But uh, overall, temperatures are staying most likely below normal. In fact, the Climate Prediction Center has us in the cooler than normal category here over the next 10 days or so. Let's take a look at your wave heights, and it looks like they're not going to be much of a concern here. The main concern for the coast will, of course, be that really that persistent fog we've seen over the last several weeks. In fact, someone had made a comment, uh, is, are we looking at permanent fog on the coast? It certainly feels that way. And we've got more of that fog here as we take in the next several days. Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Looks like we are going to see that chance for showers and thunderstorms. I would say Weaverville northward, you've got a chance, but it's very slim, by the way. There's your coastal forecast. Temperatures in the mid-60s, give or take, for the next seven days. We take you up to the north. Obviously warmer inland, but still staying in the 80s, basically between 83 and 85 degrees. Your Siskiyou County neighborhood forecast, a little bit warmer there in some spots. Could see some low 90s out there for today. Could see some isolated thunderstorms for both Siskiyou and Modoc counties today. Modoc County temperatures somewhere in the mid 80s, give or take. And the Eastern Mountains, of course, what we're looking at here are those temperatures uh, mainly in the mid to upper 80s for those daytime highs. And then we take a look at the Valley neighborhood forecast and those temperatures in the upper 80s in some cases. Look at that, 89 for Corning. 88 for Orland, Chico, about 90 degrees. We take you up to the north with 91 for the city of Shasta Lake in Redding, but a little bit cooler up in Whiskey Town at about 87 degrees. And we take a look at your seven day outlook uh, for Redding. Uh, those temperatures are generally going to be in the, uh, looks like in the mid 90s by the time you get into Wednesday. So a slight increase after today, but then temperatures should drop down to the upper 80s to around 90 degrees throughout the weekend. That is your morning update. I'll, of course, have more at noon and not to mention this evening at six o'clock. Have a great morning. At Cottonwood Small Animal Clinic and Cottonwood Veterinary Clinic, we're here to provide the best possible care for your patients. We understand that your pet is your family member and when your family member is sick, they need urgent help. All our staff is so passionate about the care that goes into all your little creatures. Making relationships with pet parents here in Cottonwood is the greatest feeling in the world. Come find us off the Gas Point exit here in the heart of Cottonwood.